coding made easy. Everybody, uh, welcome to your next C tutorial. And by the title, you probably have noticed that I lied to you. Uh, it was an accident. I completely forgot about the for each loop, and it's funny how I forgot about it because I either use it every day or see it every day. Um, but yeah, the for each loop is a loop that you will be using a lot uh, when it comes to arrays and when we get into lists and other types of containers um, like such and uh, a for each loop allows you to iterate through a list of things like in a container now before we begin uh, I want to show you uh, something uh, before we even continue uh, if you want to uh, notice how like with our numbers we were setting the values um, within our for loop uh, before uh, but if you want to set values, initialize values right away, you can um, just initialize values like this. And therefore, this array will have a size of, um, will have a size of 4. So 0, 1, 2, 3. And the proper way, I guess, would to do it would be this. You say new int, and then put this right here. But uh, with, I don't know if this happened in C-Sharp 3 or C-Sharp 4, or maybe even C-Sharp 2. But uh, you can remove that and just initialize it like so. Okay. Um, so, anyways, uh, we can get rid of that. So, for each loop is really, 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 really simple, right? So, the for each loop syntax is as follows. So, we do for each. Okay, and we're gonna create a, a variable type, right? So, what's the type of our array? Our array is int, right? So we're going to say int, uh, we'll say n, n number. And we'll put our braces. So this is saying for each value inside number, represent each value as n. So what's going to happen is just like our for loop, right? So instead, so it's going to iterate through every single element inside number, right? And n is going to represent that number within this list right here. And I'll show you exactly what I mean. So in here, we're just going to get some numbers. And right here, we're just going to use our for each loop. We'll get rid of this. Use our for each loop. I'm going to just say console.writeLine. And, and so let's run this. So how much numbers do we look to enter for? Let's and use our for each loop and it prints three, four, f five, six. So notice in the for loop, the i just represents an index, right? A number. So if we want to access that number, we have to do uh, it just re represents number zero, number one, number two, blah blah blah. In this case, though, the letter n represents the actual value inside the element where uh, we're looping through so this will loop through every single element uh, in our collection but you must note something let's say for example we want to do n equals 5 notice we got a red squiggly and let's read it read only local variable cannot be used for uh, as an assignment target um, so basically I don't want to get uh, too technical I don't want to confuse you guys but basically the reason why you can't assign things to the for each is to help you to provide to help you not run into potential problems per se uh, let's say I've been trying to think of an example I can't think of something off the top of my head um, but the for each not only supports arrays, it, uh, it supports different types like um, uh, what we will learn about i enumerable and um, certain things. And um, so as a result, some of the values uh, are set as read only. So basically, for each is more syntactic sugar. Sorry about that sound. Uh, it's more syntactic sugar to help you iterate through something. So it's just a read only value rather than a writable value. If you actually want to alter something, a for loop is the way to go. If you want to alter the variables or the uh, the list contents, 
uh, and if you want to just read the values then you would use a for each so it sort of prevents you from um, making changes to things and thinking it changes something but it might not actually change it underneath the hood uh, th there's uh, a few problems that can arise from assigning values using uh, for each loops and so um, yeah it's not allowed so um, that's just the way the C-sharp language is and I can't really change it so anyways I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope I didn't really confuse you with that last part I, I'm sorry I couldn't come up with a really good example but if you guys uh, can think of really cool examples and, and um, on why you wouldn't, you can't, or blah, 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 you have a, a personal experience or whatever, uh, then um, write in the description below, uh, or I uh, sorry, uh, write in the comment section below, and I'll add an annotation to the video uh, with a, uh, a good example. So anyways, that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to comment and subscribe, and bye for now.